up the top of there, we're going today. I think you said this up in the clouds, you know, right? Up in the clouds. We've got a one mile to go and he's still trying to overtake the caravan. <laughs> we might need some oxygen going up here. Going up the cadre address. Snow down here. The way up Cadder is steep, steep, steep. Two and a half. It is chucking down. Soggy camp out. I tell you what's a steep old climb. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Trooper's been in the struggle. He's been trying not to be sick every time we walk past somebody. <laughs> the sickness comes on at the wrong time then. There it is. Not going to see nothing if we went on the top that day anyway. No, I think so. The lake is just over the edge of that somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Car does claim his first victim, being sick. Oh. Explain to you, audience, how it was a sandwich. It was, it was, well, to be fair, he stuffed a sandwich and a milkshake down in the car about an hour ago. Not good for a climb. Get the top of the world. It's looking mint up here. She's set up. I actually just sold this tent on eBay, but the guy hadn't paid me. It's been about two days, so I thought I'll take it out for one more whirl. Take the old girl for one more spin. What a place I brought her to as well. We've got a perfect spot. Set up the door. Set up the day. Yeah, what's that? Got it, uh, got it, protein shake and a sandwich before you go for a time. Well, he was not a well boy coming up that hill. Jesus. Full of milkshake. Whew. I've set up this door now. So this is my view. Can you beat that? I get all my stuff inside now because it's just started raining again. To manage to get to the campsite, all set up. He just told me it's going to be down to five degrees tonight. Well, I've got the bag, it's supposed to be all right down to ten. <laughs> but luckily, I brought the bivy bag as well. Give me a bit of extra warmth. I got fairly lightweight, so I knew we were going up that hill. But I have brought a fair, a fair old selection of beers, right? Because you've got to do it. Right? I got four vocation hip scop and hip hop skip and juice. As I went to the supermarket, I saw my mate picking this one up. Shout out to James, and his actual name is James Brown. I thought it was his nickname when I first met him. Shoop. And then I got a strong northern monk. I had an email this week from somebody saying, um, I won't say the brand name, but basically they said it's a food product. We want you to be an influencer for us. Put it in your videos. We'll send you some freebies. I was like, yeah, tidy. I, I'm a sucker for a freebie, right? I love it. But they said, okay, sign the terms and conditions, and then we'll send them to you. Fine. So I had to read through it, and it said, forbidden to say anything bad about the product. Now, <laughs> obviously I didn't sign it, right? I sent them an email back saying, nothing is perfect, everything can be improved, so I will have some negatives about it, so I can't sign your terms and conditions. I was just wondering if anybody else has had the same, is this a, like a standard thing, or put it in the comments below if you've uh, accepted one of these terms and conditions. No judgment, because... You know, say it's a product that you know you're going to love. If anyone wants to send me some of these, like, <laughs> I'll sign the terms and conditions for that, no problems. Yeah, but if you know it's a product you're going to love, 
you'll be happy to sign the, you know, not going to say anything bad about it agreement. But I think it's a bit, much, a bit of a big ask and every product can be improved. So I don't know why they just want yes men out there. I've been mean, up the snow down here for ages, have we? No. Years. Years and years. Should have called myself Mr. Wild Breck and Beat Guns. <laughs> Mr. Wild Wild. So, bivvy bag, Tyvek, 200 grams, weighs nothing. So that should give me a bit of extra warmth, because that's only supposed to be comfy down to 10, so... That'll bring it up a couple of degrees tonight. And I think it's beer o'clock. Six o'clock, yeah. All right, let's try the Salt and Pomona Island. Shoop. Shoop, shoop. Not bad, not bad. I think vocation is still my favorite. Oh, it tastes good after that walk though. I think I would have been drier coming up here with no coat to sweat on my back. Ugh. Best view from a tent ever or what? Oh look at that rain coming down now. Uh, should keep the midges at bay. I could look at this view all day. In fact, I'm going to. <laughs> well, well, it's like ten past six, so I got a few hours of it. We got a little break in the weather, so I'm off to collect some juice. There's a little stream across the way. Uh, it'll be a bit, uh, a bit cleaner than the, the water in there. It looks crystal clear, but the bed is full of bacteria and stuff. Uh, something like that. As long as you boil it or um, use chlorine tablets, use a filter, it'll come fine. If I get it up here now, I won't have to do anything to it. It is absolutely stunning, yeah? Look at it! Wow! Every time I've seen a video of somebody camping up here, there's always a few different groups. But we've just got the place to ourselves today. What we're thinking is get up early, climb up to the top of uh, Penagada. What a dramatic spot we've got. Okay, this is where I've come to fill up my water. It's just bone dry. I can hear water flowing though. Uh, let's climb up and have a look there. Just come across this plant. I think it's a fern. I've never seen anything like that before. Crazy colours on it. Well, oh, bit of a climb. I found the water. It gets to there and nothing. This is how high I had to climb to find the water. There's two people now walking tentatively towards our tents. Possible neighbours. What do you think? Yeah, I think they are. Looks like I spoke too soon. Did have a place for ourselves. Looks like those two put in the tents like literally 10 metres away from us. Surely there's got to be more spaces around than that. Come on. Come up here to get away from everybody. <laughs> what do you carry when you're going up the top of the mountain? Dehydrated? You would think. So no. Uh... Fillet steak and chips. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and peppercorn sauce. Pretty hairy. Trying to be a bit quiet because uh, there's boys camping right next to us, like 10 metres away. It's all good, baby, baby. <laughs> Just 
two frying pan day. Titanium frying pans, super lightweight, but they burn it so easy. I don't really want to put the peas in there, but hard to separate. See, how the, they've gone really black, haven't they? Mm. I think that's the pepper, that is. See on there? I don't think they do that, though. Stain that. Yeah. Please don't want to be low, can you get smoke? And I hope that your friends understand that you make some dope for spray me. This <coughs> 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 won't get me out. <coughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Trying to kill him off. Oh, yeah. Was that the uh... clips on the top of it? Well, do. <coughs> I didn't even notice. Like... Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yes. Yeah, I know a big guy, uh, big tight day, I'm so glad that was there for a like flying that. van. Aluminium, well, aluminium took me past that, no? Uh, smoky as heck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Beat all that out, though. <coughs> oh my god. Ah! I'm on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Got a few of them good, though. Yeah. Look at these chips up. Huh? Like bin, huh? Bin it. <laughs> In the bin. I tell you, I might swap them round. Okay, it was what they did those small pots. Black marks. <laughs> yeah, Bubonic plague spuds. Oh, nice. Chicken tikka and rice and a sticky toffee pudding. Oh yes. Not as good as that, obviously. Smoke meat today, all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. So good, baby, baby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Couple of steaks, right? Eh? I could breathe a bit of life back in that. <laughs> Rarer the better. A little review of the Wayfarer. What do you think? Yeah, I like smash those fire parts, eh? Well, he's, he's licking the dregs out of it, so it <laughs> yeah, must that's... be pretty good. The advantages of a stove with a pipe on it. Yeah, it's a uh, liquid feed, that's what it's called, isn't it? Shh. <laughs> See the extra power camera, right? So, uh, so we use them in the winter, and see, because uh, the gas don't, um, yeah, well, when it gets cold, cold, it don't work, is it? Yeah. But you can use up most of the gas like that, I know. Got my afters, yeah. Orwellies Bro Highland Toffee Chuba. Chuba. Chewbacca. The very dab. Who is this guy? Morning. Apart from waking up hearing voices, there was a nice sleep. I can see the whites of their eyes. <laughs> Clothes have disappeared. There we go. I was warming the old Flames Creed bivy. I wasn't expecting to use this until winter, mine, not July. It was a little bit chilly up there, so I added the extra. <laughs> Next stop, way up there. there Slin Kai has been emotional. Oh, That's the closest someone's ever camped to me. I feel like I'm just whinging about our lords on this video, you know. 
No, but as soon as they turned up, before they put the tents up, I put the music on blasting so I knew what they were letting themselves in for. I think we listened to music till about half past eleven. So. We were like an ambulance, no dolly up. Well, they didn't even say hello or nothing. <laughs> Shake your hands first, eh? Ah. Well, wild cambers, we're normally a bit of an antisocial bunch, so we come up here, just get away from everybody, mate. Yeah. Never mind. No more on the subject now. <coughs> no, no more not. Just the mountain. Let's see if we can get to the top of this. Up into the clouds. <sighs> Woo wee! Mountain man come up. <laughs> Summit, Summit or nothing! nothing. <laughs> Woo! In the clouds now heading up somewhere up there. I think you've struggled to get lost up here with all these cairns. The lake we were next to is down there. Getting high up now. First summit done. The new summit. <laughs> Slightly higher now. Cracking news. That's the quick way down, that is. <laughs> How's it going, girls? Ah, what have you done now? There's one path down. Not fancy that. It is sheer down there. There she blows. As kids, as soon as we saw the summit, we'd use a sprint for it, see so if we can get there first. <laughs> I don't think we're doing that today. Only one's up here. Climb two mountains before breakfast. <laughs> Jesus. Whew. Oi, oi! <laughs> Here's the hut. I've slept in here before. On the Millennium. Nobody mad enough to sleep in there today, is there? It is. Yeah, we came up here the Millennium. We thought we got a unique idea, yeah? Got in here, absolutely packed. We're raving now, aren't we? <laughs> this is where I was sleeping, huh? I think I slept on this, uh, yeah. on these flagstones on a foam mat. I slept on it. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Not much of a bench, is it? No. Top of Penagada, which translates as uh, top of the chair. <laughs> Bit of a weird name. Cadridris is the name of the whole ridge. That means Idris's chair or Idris's seat. Mountain smashed out. I'm done a mountain for ages. Well, two mountains today, no? And this Arbor State. I'll go for the knife ridge to get home. Whoa! <laughs> Not good when you can't see the ground. I hope so. Looks steep as hell, mind. Uh, no. People have gone this way. Little spring, fill up with water. Bit of floaties in there, but should be fresh enough. Straight out the mountain. Been like Jurassic Park all weekend. That's the path we came down. We're following the pony path for a while. And we're down in the bogs now. Huh? On the viewpoint. There's our lake from last night. Oh. 
bags of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're gonna take the bags home. I think you've been dropped up by helicopter because there's a looks like a note down there. Chuck them here, drive! They must be laying these on the path. All the way up, stop erosion. Just working our way down the never ending steps. Gotta go through them woods and then it gets really steep then. <laughs> oh my, my hands are shaking. Steps for days. We stayed at Sling Kai. Craig, Craig Kai was first. Then we, we went up to Panagada. Money's Moil, I think we skipped out. We went up up here. Oh. This black route. Mm -hmm. 